I was 11 the first time Scott kissed me. Daylight was waning, and we had just heard his father's time to head home whistle. We'd been straddling a log for some time, talking, discussing the mechanisms of the French kiss. I was more worldly than Scott, 10 months older, with three older brothers and parents who trusted us all a bit too much. I leaned in, and he came at me. In my memory, this was a perfect kiss. Soft at first, then with insistence parting my lips. Slightly too much tongue. His father's whistle rang out again. We pulled apart and gazed at each other with what I interpreted as wonder. We started back to the houses, said goodnight, and parted ways. That night I couldn't sleep. I just full on made out with a boy. A boy that really, for all practical purposes, was my brother. His parents I called mom and dad, his sister my sister, but kissing him turned me on. I felt something somewhat new, though not novel. I honestly don't remember a time that I wasn't touching myself at least some of the time. But now I was making out with Scott, and that made me feel good. But the practicalities of all of this, there were none. Outside of my attachment to his family, our life aspirations were far apart. He wasn't bound for greatness, not my idea of in any way. He didn't want to go to college or have a career. He was unnaturally happy, and it was enough for him. This wasn't going to be a situation where he started dating at 11 and ended up married. We continued kissing whenever the opportunity arose. Our makeout sessions were getting longer, our kissing more insistent. We are headed somewhere. Can you really get to second base at 11 years old? Scott was proving himself to be sexually precocious. Living in the country, we'd become accustomed to being bored. While our city friends were enjoying this new thing called cable, we were all running on rabbit ears, channels 2 through 11. Scott's dad, sick of missing good TV, bought a satellite dish. It took us just two afternoons, home alone, to find the porn. <laughs> all of the premium channels and porn were unscrambled, unblocked, and free. We weren't bored anymore. We watched R-rated movies with sex scenes, and then, when no one was looking, we, well, sometimes the entire neighborhood of kids, watched straight up, not Cinemax style, pornography. <laughs> Scott and I spent our free time watching porn and our rare private time making out. I tell no one. My Catholic guilt racks me, but how I feel when we are kissing overrides the guilt. I don't want to date him, and really, we're too young to be dating anyway. When we're making out, I'm watching porn in my head. When I can't sleep, I'm watching porn in my head. When I'm masturbating, I'm watching porn in my head. Scott is getting progressively more insistent. I'm not sure what he's thinking about when we're making out, but by the way he moves and pets me over my clothes, I can guess. Porn. Imagine at 12 years old having your opinions of what sex between two people looks like being shaped by porn. Significant moaning, bucking, screaming, thrashing, and dirty talk were normal. I tried to maintain some sense of decorum, mostly, I think, out of guilt. We weren't dating, we were hiding. And then it was summer. We had nine and a half weeks, sea of love, and Tracy Lord porns at our fingertips. We still had the pool, the street, and occasional trips to the amusement park, but we always had porn to fall back on. <laughs> Taking cues from all our porn watching, one hot summer night, wordless, word, wordlessly, Scott pulled off my shirt. He might not want to go to college, but his unnatural happiness was being made happier by taking my clothes off. <laughs> Kissing me while I made kitten noises that I learned from watching porn. <laughs> A month later, I took my first vacation with Scott's family. The kids had their own hotel room. I would wait until everyone fell asleep and joined Scott in his bed. I kept my shirt on out of fear, but we continued our having petting, and for the first time, in a bed. He'd been pushing his erection into me for some time. I was a ball of hormones. Nightly we'd lie in bed, nightly I'd get turned on, and the last night, I finally held his erection. I tried to stroke it the way I'd seen it in the movies. He grunted, just like the movies told us he should, but nothing happened. He definitely didn't come because he couldn't. I returned to my bed and touched myself, which would feel good, but didn't resolve anything. I knew from all the porn the girls came and didn't have sex to come, but I certainly wasn't. 
School started, and our opportunities for getting to second base weren't as frequent. It was too cold outside to be making out at night, and we were rarely inside alone. In the spring, I turned 13, and one month later, I started my period. The satellite company, company scrambled everything we watched. <laughs> Scrambled porn isn't as gratifying visually, but the sound still comes through loud and clear. <laughs> we would delight when a nipple slipped through. <laughs> that summer, we were off and alone. Super Mario's Brothers was a big draw. Sometimes we played that endlessly instead of taking each other's clothes off. It is only when we run out of normal kid games that we end up having petting. And still, neither of us had come. Scott thought it was time for us to have sex. We were getting naked and we'd been at it for two years. I'm pretty sure in his head that this was a natural progression, that we had unscrambled porn watching for training and we were ready. I kept up the Catholic line, my body is my temple. He isn't stupid, he knows I want him. It's a hot summer day in July, he grabs a blanket and starts into the empty lot and I'm following behind him. There are weeds as tall as him he turns around, parting the wall of weeds, and calls to me. I stand in the street under the hot summer sun in broad daylight. I'm going to lose my virginity. I stand on the edge of the lot and decide my risk of getting pregnant is low. I follow him into the weeds. They're itchy and I'm sweating. Towards the middle of the lot, Scott finds a clearing and smooths the blanket down and we sit. On the ground, it's hotter but completely private. It would take a crop duster to find us. <laughs> We take off our clothes and proceed through our porn-style foreplay to the main event. His hands have been down there so often, he didn't struggle much to find where his penis belonged. His entering me did not hurt. The actual act was anticlimactic. He couldn't ejaculate, and although I was capable of orgasm, I had no idea how to get there. We decide we're done and lay naked in the sun. The warmth feels really nice, but the incredible, crushing guilt doesn't. I start crying. Scott was sweet, practical, and guilt-free. This was meant to happen, had been happening since his, this first kiss two years ago. I tell him I'm not going to do it again. He laughs. <laughs> Scott officially hits puberty a few months later, and I had little resolve. Our paint, porn training took our sex, sex life to an entirely different level of raunchiness. I was afraid of getting pregnant, and since Tracy Lord seemed to enjoy it so much, I thought it was, and I thought it was normal, I made him pull out and come all over my chest. <laughs> he kept trying and failing to get me to orgasm. I started high school a liar. Everyone is lying about having sex, and I'm lying about not having sex. <laughs> about four months after our first time, I was home on a Saturday morning alone, masturbating. And then, it happened! Holy mother of God! I can't believe it! This feels incredible! The porn hadn't failed me! Laying there on my bed in the afterglow, my hand still resting, I know what I need to do now. I get up, get dressed, and run across the street. We end up in Scott's garage in the backseat of his mom's caddy. A car neither of us could drive. I'm so excited I'm bursting. He's thrilled I'm the one seeking out sex. I'm thrilled because now I understand what we've been looking for, what the girls were screaming about. I show him how to stimulate my clitoris the right way. I tell him the orgasm will be better if he's inside me as I come, and in the backseat of the car, at 12 years old, he tries to move like the, moves like the pros do, and it doesn't work. I finally realize something that most women realize much later in their lives. I can do this myself. <laughs> Right. The orgasm was way better with him inside me. While our sex was still infrequent, it got better, and over time, we got progressively bolder. We had sex in the spa when anyone could have seen us. We'd wash the chlorine off and have sex in his parents' shower. Towards the end of the summer, the month before Scott and I would be starting the same high school, we decided it was time to quit screwing. It had to stop. We wanted something normal for high school. That August, his family and I went on vacation. We knew this would be it. We didn't sleep for five nights. We spent exhausting days at amusement parks and exhausting nights on the pull-out couch having sex multiple times a night in every position that I could ensure I could get myself off. It was hot and bittersweet. I knew that I would know him for the rest of my life. His parents had paid attention to me when my parents were too busy. Through the most awkward times of my adolescence, he saw me naked and told me, I was beautiful. 
While I was seeing him naked, he went from a boy to a man, still unnaturally happy. <laughs> oh, you're ever a bad first timer, Lisa Sacco!